Justin isn't letting me have props on camera anymore. He says that it looks weird when I drink and that I'm awkward and stuff. It does. I don't, I, I don't know what he's talking about. Dogfish Head makes a lovely beer called the Sea Quench. It's a session style weed ale and it has some ingredients added to it. It's got lemon rind, it's got black limes, and it's got sea salt. That last ingredient we're gonna be talking about. Now this beer pours like a nice yellow, refreshing looking beer with a bit of darkness to it. And it's got a pretty dank smell. In fact, it really isn't dishonest to say this kind of smells a little bit like seawater. You can actually kind of feel in your nose a bit of that saltiness and a, uh, the sourness of the added tart citrus fruit definitely accentuates that kind of dank caddy smell that you get when you're by the lake. Now, I really adore, though, what this beer does with its added ingredients to a very strong base of a well-crafted session sour wheat. So, first off, you're going to get right off the head a lot of that sour dankness that's going to meld with the hops and it's going to transition well into that naturally coppery note that you kind of get with a lot of wheat beers. Now, the other thing that you kind of get with wheat is that kind of bready note. And what I really adore about this beer is that it allows the bready kind of body flavor of itself to be turned into a sort of biscuit or a salty biscuit flavor with that added sea salt at the end. For me, this is perfect. I want a beer that's refreshing but still has that hearty graininess of an actual beer. And I have nothing against, you know, sweeter or sourer things, but I want something that has that refreshing sour taste that still makes me feel a bit full after a good long run. This beer's a little difficult to recommend because I obviously really like it. Well, that's not new, is it? I like everything that I drink, most everything on here anyway. I'm gonna give this beer four stars, and here's why. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. If you don't like sour beers, I can't guarantee you're gonna like this. If you don't like wheat beers, I don't know if you're gonna like this either. I genuinely feel that it's the perfect example of adding strange and wonderful ingredients to a well-made beer to bring out the natural notes of the beer even further. So is this the sort of thing I'd recommend to everybody? No, no, I'll be honest with you, no. But for people who like beers like Blue Moon or this is probably going to be a beer that uh, might impress you and you're really going to enjoy sipping on it. So that's my review of the Sea Quench. I give it four stars, even though a lot of other people may be a little put off by it. Cheers.